beauties. I hope everyone is staying safe and warm and everyone is doing well and getting through this rainy season we're having right now. I did film this about a week and a half ago and unfortunately got sick myself with a bad respiratory and sinus cold and I'm just not camera ready right now. But I did this redecorate reset video and it's just getting my life organized and everything put away from the holidays, a late winter, early spring cleaning, if you will. Besides this, I haven't really done much over the last couple of weeks, just honestly kind of self isolating and self quarantining, making sure I'm not getting anyone else sick, taking care of myself, recuperating, resting, self care. I also did some organizing and some purging and also updating my Poshmart. This is not sponsored in any ways, but I do like Poshmart. It is very easy to use. If you use my referral code, you get $10 towards your first order and that does not have to be with me. You could use that towards anything on the whole entire site. There's always something for somebody and both of us will win. So there you go, butterfly highs, and I'll have that linked in the description below. Don't mind my lip syncing. You know you listen to music while you're cleaning. Comment below your favorite kind of music or your favorite song right now. I love everything. So if I don't know it, I always love new music. Here I just did a really easy lunch and I put the hot dogs in the air fryer and they came out tasting like grilled hot dogs. I don't really use that too often. I am very old school when it comes to cooking. Besides my stove and my oven, I use a slow cooker. Honestly, I get the best meals and I don't need all of the showy stuff right now plus it's kind of a transition this is not somewhere I see myself staying for a very long time but it's something for now and I don't want to clutter the little space that I do have so it works out you know balance is key Who else loves finding random lighters when you're cleaning? I know I do. And these aren't even my lighters. So, a hey, turn up. I don't question it. Just keep it moving. Just know I got your lighters. I'm always a little sad putting my holiday decor away because it's always so warm and cozy and I live in a state where it doesn't snow so the decorations make it feel more wintry and then you take them all down and it's like oh it's just cold <laughs> so don't come for my snowflakes those stay up especially all through winter because I just miss the snow sometimes I don't want it but I miss it With this video, I tried to show a little something different, what I'm just kind of doing on my day to day. Do you like the cleaning videos? Do you like the organization side? Um, you know, I know people like to be nosy. Shoot, I'm nosy and I love following certain people who like to clean and reorganize their house. I don't know. Something about it is just satisfying, especially when you're watching other people clean. It's not as overwhelming as when you have to do it yourself, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
sadly my tree died this year so all the lights stopped working so it's about that time that I retire him it's always a little sad when you gotta put one down you know my house is such a vibe when everything is clean and the low lights are on and candles are lit have my smell goods it's always a very cozy feel for me and yes i may not have a lot of things right now but it's a process and i have enough for what i need so it works out for me I want to show you this quick, easy, semi-homemade meal that I made that night. I used leftover Asian-style chicken from the Cheesecake Factory, and I made my own veggies, my take on an Asian style. So whatever I had, I used, and I used a little onion, some garlic, some soy sauce, black pepper, a little extra virgin olive oil. Of course, you can use fresh garlic and fresh ginger. I just used what I had on hand, and then... Watch my salt intake because the lo mein noodles that I did buy from the store, they do tend to be on the salty side. Other than that, I waited for everything to cook and then I warmed the chicken with the veggies and I finished it off with some red chili sauce at the end. It was better than DoorDash, better than takeout, and I saved way more money doing it this way as opposed to actually ordering it online and i know you guys know what i'm talking about all right i hope you like this one stay tuned i have a bonus recipe right after this oh my god one bite and all your dreams will come true <laughs> Alrighty, who can comment me what movie that is from this is just a pasta dish i threw together with the veggies that were about to go bad in my fridge I had a previous taco night, so I had cut up cilantro and cut up onions, so I threw that in here. Although you could use parsley if you'd like and you don't like cilantro. I have cut up garlic, carrots, zucchini, one can of diced tomato. I used extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, some thyme, and chicken bouillon flavoring in the veggies. For my ground beef, after I drained it, I put pepper and a little seasoned salt just to taste. Only minimal salt. And I only used butter for my noodles because, you know, noodles and butter just go hand in hand, in my opinion. I did season them to keep the flow with a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. Personally, I like my food with a lot of aromatics and spices, even spicy, different hot sauces and flavorings. But the greatest art about making your own food is you're creating it your own way and to your own liking. And don't be afraid to try anything new. Go with the flow. Listen to the voices of your ancestors as they whisper in your ear. <laughs> but really, nine times out of ten, if I create something, it's, it's bomb. So trust yourself and have faith. After everything was complete, I just combined it all together. And I finished it off with a little tried and true parmesan you know old faithful you could definitely use fresh you could use the shredded you can shred it yourself whatever however you want to make it remember this is your meal i do hope you try this recipe it was really good really filling very satisfying but not a heavy pasta dish at all and very perfect for these cold winter rainy nights that we've been having lately so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope everyone is having such a great week and continues to have a great weekend don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.